popular request, a little more bar boxing. I'm excited for this one. I hope you are too. Grab a set of hand weights and that's it. Just start to shuffle side to side. Bend your knees, zip up your pants, and just go ahead and shake out your wrists. Good, now start to roll your shoulders. Good, keep your belly in. Three, two, one. Plant your feet, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, two more. Last one. Good, cartwheel your hands down into a plank. Uh-huh. And then lift your hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Pedal your feet, driving one heel at a time to the floor. Shrug your shoulders towards your ears. Press your rib cage towards your thighs. Here's four, three. Good, ground both of your heels. Take your left foot, cross it behind your right leg. Good, now drive your left heel down. Press your palms into the floor, and then you're gonna rotate your chest underneath that left armpit. You should feel a beautiful side body stretch on that left side. Go ahead and pick up your left hand. Good, now flip over. Squeeze your booty, ground your heels. Lift those hips high. Keep your ankles crossed, left hand back down. Drive that left heel into the ground. Good, shift back into your downward facing dog. Pedal those heels, eight, seven, six. Belly in. Both heels lower down. Right foot crosses behind left. Both knees can be bent or that right leg can straighten. Pull that heel down, press your palms in, and then rotate your chest underneath that right armpit. Lift up your right hand, and then flip on over. Press your left palm into the mat. Lift your hips, squeeze your booty. Mm -hmm. Lower that hand down, keep your ankles crossed. Drive that right heel down one more time. Step back into that downward facing dog. Good, go ahead and bend your knees. Press your armpits towards your kneecaps. Straighten your legs. Bend your knees. Straighten legs. Two more. Last one. Good, inhale, rise up off those heels. Look forward, tiptoe your way to the top of your mat. Find a forward fold, sway side to side. Pick up those hand weights. Step back into a plank push-up position. Feet are wider than your hips, and you are gonna alternate forward punches. Option dropping to your knees. Here we go. Zip up those pants. Good, keep your bum low. Keep your hips from rocking. How do you do that? It's in your core, so if you're walking, swaying, lifting, lowering, you need to drop to your knees. Chest is strong, straight out in front. Keep it going. Chest is proud, strong. Pull your chest away from the mat. But tight. Good. Right foot steps forward, lift your chest, bend your back knee. As you lower your back knee, your left hand is gonna cross over and punch towards your right corner. As you stand up, opposite, down, up and across. Reach. Slow and long. Back knee lowers, crown of the head. Pulls to the sky, butt is tight. Press your feet, the pads of your toes, into the mat for balance. You are not on a balance beam, you are on train tracks. Up and over, drop lower, cross. Big rotation, lift. 
up and lengthen. Mm -hmm. That back leg is going to kick forward in a front kick. Plant that left foot, right heel drives back kick. Uh-huh. Buzzer goes, we get to work. Front, back, lift. <sighs> Belly in. Use your hips. Power. <sighs> Arms in, underneath your shoulders. Elbows squeezing in towards your center. <sighs> Left, right. Dig and drive. Keep it up. Chest is proud. Lifted up and forward. Bend your knee. Left knee bends. Left knee bends. Right knee bent. Chest up. Front, back. Good. Your next move. Your right foot, excuse me, your left foot is down in the back. Your right foot is in front. It's a punch. Then you rotate and plant your back foot. Cross knee. Punch, knee. Push it down. Knuckles, cross midline, which means your hands, your arms cross, and so does your leg, opposite leg. Punch, cross, drive. Use your core, your whole midsection. Uh-huh. Don't be loosey-goosey. Strong, intentional rotations. Are you breathing? Keep it going. Down. Woo. Take a seat. Knees are bent. As you sit up, that right knee lifts, that left arm punches, and then you lower down opposite side. Sit up, and then reach long. Your heart follows that weight up and out, up and out. Option, reaching for a ball, placing it at the small of your back for a little extra support. Shoulders down, keep with it. Option, no knee, just sitting up and a beautiful rotation. Lengthen out those arms. We got it. Belly in, belly button towards your spine. Cross your ankles, plant your weight. We are in round two, taking it on the left side. Plank punches. You are on your knees, hips forward. You are on your toes, feet hip distance, or a little wider for a larger base of support. Think of yourself as a tricycle, as a triangle. It's a little harder when you're a stick straight board. Your butt must be low. Belly is not sagging. Push your chest away from your mat. Knees, here I come. Do not compromise your form for your ego. Drop to your knees if you need to. I promise you are working the same muscles. Left foot steps forward. Bend your back knee. Lift your chest. Right crosses, standing up, left crosses right, down. This is more beautiful length, slow, steady balance than it is just a punch, just a ground and pound. Nice long lean muscles, nice long lean limbs, shifting over your midsection, over your belly button, over your center of stability. Drop your back knee. Lengthen, pull those fingers away from your shoulders. You are almost there. Lift, chest 
is proud. Awesome job. You are now taking your back foot, kicking it forward, planting right foot, driving your left heel back. Find a tempo that works for you. Can you do this while keeping your hips square, right? So don't lift and hike. Don't arch and open. Straight on, straight back. Keep going. One up, one back. Drive and plant those heels. Down, pull. Elbows underneath your wrists and shoulders. Use the back of your legs. You are strong. Shoulders down, belly in. Long neck, heels drive. They lead the way. Keep it up. Awesome job. One hammer punch down, one cross knee. Punch, transfer your weight, step back, cross it over. Down, up. Lower, lift, straight down underneath that shoulder. And then that second move is where that rotation comes in. Relax in your shoulders. Feel that heart rate rise. Keep going. Drop your back knee. Bend those knees. Get low. Four, three, two, one. Awesome job, take a seat. <coughs> Excuse me. Plant those feet and heels. Sucker punch in the belly. Cross it over. One knee lifts. Opposite weight reaches far and long. Up and over. Lift, lean back, sit up tall. Crown of the head, constantly reaching to the ceiling. It's your spine that is rounding in that C-shaped curve as you take it back and as you lift up, belly button pins to your spine for every ounce of this move. Pull it in, keep it in, pull it in. Shoulders are relaxed, drop your weights if you need to. Eliminate the knees if you need to. Up and twist, try not to let those weights be higher than your shoulders. Cross those ankles, step it back. We have plank punches, alternating arms. Look forward, here it is. Do not sway and rock in your hips. Keep them steady and grounded. Your butt is below your shoulders. You are sloped down at an angle. Pull your belly in. Every time you reach an arm, zip your pants higher. We can do this. Belly button and heart are shining towards your mat the entire time. No rocking, no opening. Side to side, you're straight on. Steady, stable, square. Holy smokes. Right foot forward. You are on train tracks, not a balance beam. Knees bend, left crosses as you lower back knee. Right crosses as you straighten both legs. Cross center, stand and rotate, drop it down. Woo. Catch your balance. Squeeze your bum. Press the eye of your left hip flexors forward as you cross that left over your midline. Down, center, lengthen, stand. Plant your right heel down, ground it solid. Butt cheeks are tight, yes. 
Uh huh. Down. Up. Awesome job. You are back, taking off your back foot, kicking it forward, planting it down, driving it behind you. Left foot to the front, elbows in. Drive, strong. Lift, uh-huh, get that belly off your front thigh. Upper body, upright and lifted, light in your load. Up, reach, strong and long. Keep it up, front kick, back kick. Good, your right foot is in front. Your left knuckles drive, transfer your weight, front knee crosses over. Here it is. This definitely reminds me of an Avenger fighting battle, right? Punch it down, knee over, reach strong. Find your tempo, doesn't have to be Fast, it just has to be in your control. You dictate how your body moves, find your balance, your alignment, your form. Drop your weights if you need to. Down, up, lift and cross. If you're on your booty, grab a drink if you need to. Knee crunch, cross, punch. Up over. Lift, lean into a ball at the small of your back. If you need that extra support, that will help you ensure you have that C shape curve in your spine and your tail is tucked. You have a pelvic tilt. You are safe in working your abs without putting extra impact and pressure on your spine. Reach long, reach more. Relax in your hip flexors. Awesome job. Are you ready? You're in a plank push-up position. Alternating those strong, long punches. Out in front. Reach, butt tight. Hips are steady. No rocking, no swaying. Booty is low. Heart and belly button. Reach and face the mat. No sinking, sagging, right? Strong and controlled. Good, I'm on my knees. I feel like I have more control in finding a full range of motion in that overhead extended arm posture than I would if I was on my feet. My arms can't extend with as much ease. Good, left foot is in front. Hips drop down and in. You are square, cross punches with a beautiful slow and balanced lunge. Up, belly in, stand tall. Line up, ears, shoulders, hips. Ground your front heel down, reach the crown of your head to the ceiling. Every time you cross a punch, ground and lift, ground and lift. Here it is. You are on your last round. How will you treat this? As an easy struggle to get through or as your hardest challenge of the day to find your edge? 
maximize this 30 minute workout. We can do this. <sighs> Take a breather. That back foot, heel drives straight in front, right? So bring your knee up, kick and drive that heel, plant your foot, left leg behind, up and back, lift. Try to keep those weights right underneath your shoulders. What you don't want to happen is for you to kick and open out. Try to stay square and center. Up, back. Keep your tempo, whatever it is. Don't stop, 45 seconds. Awesome job. Take your 15 seconds. Punching those knuckles straight down. Back foot, front knee crosses. Here it is. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Uh huh. Heel up. Foot down, heel up, heel down. Push, plant, big cross, crossing that midline. Knee must go past your belly button, elbow must go past in the opposite direction. Stand tall, almost there. Awesome job. You're on your booty. You know what's coming. Final move before our mat work and cool down. Don't worry about your pace. Just find a C-shaped curve. Keep it as you lift a knee and extend an arm. Lower. Up, lift, reach, like somebody's pulling that weight out of your hand. Take it back, lift. <sighs> Belly in. Keep it up. Good. Drop those weights in front of you. Soles of your feet come together. Let's open up those hips. Give your glutes a little stretch before we work them a little more. Sit all the way up. Kneecaps to the ceiling. Cross your ankles, coming onto your hands and your knees. Step your right foot in between your hands Press your left hip forward. Mm -hmm. Left hand reaches and punches. Lower that hand down. Take your right foot, your heel, reaches and drives up and back behind you. Belly in, hip square. Reach, punch, lower, drive heel. Step forward, forward, and back. Plant, lift, belly up and in, zip. Zip strong. Here's four. Lift. Three. Uh huh. You have two left. Last one. Keep your right leg up there. Pulse. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Lower onto your left forearm. Turn your toes to the right. Tap them down, lift up, down, lift. Six, hip on that left side, stays on top of knee. Here's three, two, kick it out to the right side. Here we go, kick, tap, kick, tap, six, five, all five toenails tap behind you. 
three, two, hold it out to the right side, hold it out, lift, pulse, we got it, belly in, palms press to the floor. Let's go, here's eight, seven, strong left hamstring, four, three, two, one, lower down. Good, turn to the opposite side of your mat. You are in a tabletop position, yes? Zip up your pants, step your left foot in between your hands, right hand punches, hips drop your square, plant your hand, drive that left heel straight back and up. Are you ready? Plant, punch, lower, kick behind. Plant, punch, squeeze your butt cheek on the right side now. Four. Three. Belly and chest up. Hold that left leg up behind you. Pulse it. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Drop to your right forearm, your left foot. Toes reach to the left. Tap it down, lift. Arch of your foot reaches to the floor. Pinky edge side reaches to the sky. Here's three, two, one. Kick to the side. Side, tap, side, tap. Six, five, chest is open, proud. Four, three, dripping sweat, it feels good. Last one, hold it out to the side, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, beautiful. Four, three, two, one. Lower that left knee. Stay facing the long edge of your mat. Heel, knee, heel, toe. Your way out to a wider frog sit. Uh-huh. Your heels and ankles are underneath your knees. And all I want you to do is keep them there and then press your tail back. Maybe lower onto those forearms. Sometimes this can feel really tense. Make sure you're in a good position. You're not restricting your breath. Good. You can inchworm your knees a little wider, but always bring those heels back underneath your knees. For now, we'll change that up shortly. Breathe. Bring your big toes to kiss behind you. Now press your hips back towards your heels. So you're sinking your hips off of that knee plane. Press your hips below your knees. From here, extend your right leg out to the side. Mm -hmm. Play around with keeping that big toe on the floor with bringing your big toes to the ceiling, sitting back towards that left heel. Keeping that left heel underneath your tail or bringing it out underneath that left knee. So just play around with what you need to work on for your flexibility. Maybe visiting a place that you don't want to go, right? So what feels funky and tense, maybe sit there for a moment or two. Pressing onto your hands, using your core and your arms and your chest, drive your knees in towards one another. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. So that left leg goes long. Depending on your flexibility, if you are less flexible, your hip and knee on that right side should stay on top of one another. Mm -hmm. So the more stretch, the deeper you want to go, you need to walk your knee beyond your hip on that right side. That will create a stretch on both legs. Mm -hmm. Play around with whether you want those toes up, sitting back, whether you want that big toe and arch to drop in, and you stack your hips in line with those knees. Right heel, maybe it's in towards your glutes, maybe it is underneath your knee. No holding your breath. Mm -hmm. 
coming onto your hands, closing that knee and ankle, shifting into a tabletop position. Take your right knee, lift it up, cross it behind your left, and then pull your heels away from one another as you walk your hands back, dropping to your sit bones, sitting straight up. Your knees are stacked one on top of the other. Mm -hmm. Good, so squeezing your legs, your upper thighs, in towards your midline. To relieve this slightly, bring your heels closer to your hips. For a deeper stretch, take your peace fingers, wrap them around those big toes, and walk your heels away while keeping that top knee grounded and both sit bones on the floor. You can play around and lean forward. Good, you will feel a stretch in that top hip. Inhale your arms overhead. As you exhale, rotate to the right, lower your right hand down, plant your foot on that left side, onto the mat, place your left hand down, rotate to your back wall, you are in a wide-legged forward fold, turned around. Keep that walk going over towards your left foot, and all you're gonna do is turn, sit back down, although this time the opposite leg is on top, hip drops in, Heels closer to your hips for a little bit of a relief. Heels pulling far away and out for a deeper stretch. You can roll and round forward. Good, make sure your inner thighs are zipping in so your kneecap to kneecap and you're stacked. Inhale your arms overhead. Rotate to the left, lower left hand and then right. Stand up, keep turning to the front of your room, heels together, toes turned out, clasp your hands behind your back. Drive those knuckles down, zip your pants up, your neck is long. Keep your posture, release your grip, curtsy down. Awesome job.